Are you kicking around the idea of moving to Charlotte and you're wondering what it's all about? Well, let me tell you, this place has its own vibe from hidden gems to historic neighborhoods and amazing places for families to live. This is a city that truly has it all. Are you wondering why Charlotte shines brighter than anywhere else in the Southeast? Well, y'all stick with me today. I'm going to give you 10 reasons why this place rocks. We're getting after it right now. Hey guys, welcome to our first stop. I'm actually standing downtown here in First Ward Park. And that's something I really do like about Charlotte and appreciate is the green spaces and the cleanliness of the parks in the uptown region. You can come down to them with your families and your kids and let them run around and play and you're gonna be all right. First thing I really do wanna talk to you about is to tell you that Charlotte consistently ranks in the top 10 for employee engagement as per Ford. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does that mean? Why should you care? And here's the answer in short. High employee engagement means your coworkers and direct team members and managers, they're happy, they feel valued, and they see a path to promotion and have higher job satisfaction. Because by now, we have all had jobs that we just grinned our teeth through. And we went home and we updated our resume. And we've been leaders of teams or part of teams that were dysfunctional and just made life miserable. So how all this applies to you, as I know moving across the country can seem risky and scary because you ask yourself, what if? What if this doesn't work out? I've sold my home. I've moved across the country. I've bought a home. I've uprooted my family. What if this great job I thought I was coming to isn't where I wanted to be? And what all this means is odds are good that the situation you're coming into is going to be okay. And if it's not for some strange reason, Charlotte has incredible employment options. It's something I have said many times and something I will say again is Charlotte has many job opportunities across a very wide array of job sectors, from banks and finance to all sorts of technology and manufacturing and the trade. Y'all keep watching because the rest of these reasons will build on this answer. I'm gonna answer some key reasons for you and I may give you some more aha moments as to why the Queen City could be the right place for you. And if you have thought of moving, I'd love to hear from you. My name is Joe McIntosh, and this is my show, The Carolina Salute, where I cover everything Charlotte for both North Carolina and South Carolina. So whether you're one day out or one year away, give me a call, a text, an email, or schedule a Zoom so I can get you and your family all the information you need to have a smooth move across the country. Well, guys, y'all stay with me. We've got an exciting tour lined up for you today, and I'll see you at our next spot. Hey, guys, welcome to this stop. I'm actually in the Dilworth neighborhood here just off in downtown. This is one of the most iconic neighborhoods here in Charlotte's very walkable, beautiful craftsman style home, tree-lined streets, and access to everything Charlotte has to offer. But on this stop, I wanted to let you know that Charlotte ranks in the top 25 largest cities to buy a home. And as a realtor, that really gets me excited because home ownership is one of the pathways to wealth. And what this means for you as you move into this city is it means you can buy a home in a nice neighborhood with school and family. And you can have an asset that's going to appreciate and can significantly add to your investment strategy or your retirement strategy because you don't make money when you sell the home you make the money when you buy it one of my main goals in this purchase is to make sure we're making a sound financial decision because when we buy a home we have to marry it together with your life your job and your finance and it's not always a perfect relationship but within charlotte within the variety of neighborhoods and home prices that you have to choose from odds are good that we can find you something that matches your life your job and your budget because nobody wants to be house poor and nobody wants to get stuck in a the neighborhood they end up hating 
because we didn't do our due diligence on the front end of that. And just here's a few little numbers for you. The median home price here in Charlotte right now is, this is November 2024. The median home price here today is $418,000 and the national median is $420,000. So we're still $2,000 under what the rest of the country is paying. So what have y'all thought? Has anything I said kind of rung a bell with you? And I just kind of have to say the weather, my God, today is absolutely incredible. We're in the middle of November. I'm in a t-shirt, I'm sweating, and it's gonna be almost 80 degrees today but y'all stay with me i've got some more exciting information to share with you as we continue this tour of charlotte and tell you why this place rocks hey guys thanks for staying with me on this stop i'm downtown here in ramir beard park a pretty awesome place here in the uptown area it's about five acres got a beautiful waterfall right here and it really is a beautiful place to be at night as they light it all up and you get the purple light dropping on the waterfall there with the building behind you but something i wanted to talk to you about and tell you is charlotte ranks in the top 10 of best job market for recent college graduates now that might not seem like a whole lot but if your city and your company can't continually attract young talent you will slowly die and the news articles who have ranked us this high are going to be u.s news career bliss and the co-working cafe and some of the main factors that were looked at were obviously employment opportunity financial health and lifestyle quality when you look at these reports and the graphs that come out of top places to live and top income recent college grads you've got to peel that onion back a little bit further because San Francisco ranks number one for best income of recent college grads being right at $106,000 a year. But here's the kicker. The poverty line in San Francisco is $104,000. So while they might pay you a little bit more to be there, your money didn't really go as far as you thought it should because at those prices, it's going to take five roommates in a one-bedroom apartment fighting over the last box of top ramen just to survive. To give you a little contrast here in Charlotte, the median income for recent college grads was right at $60,000. But guess what? The poverty line in Charlotte was $25,000. So while your friend who went to work with Google on the West Coast might have more zeros on his W-2, you will actually have more money in your pocket to live, to do things, to buy a home and start a life instead of just simply scraping by to survive. Another thing Charlotte has done for a lot of people is let's just say you're ready to retire. or Maybe you're seasoned in your job and making a lateral move to the area. Guess what? With the job market here and the cost of living, it could give you an opportunity, could get you and your family within an easy commute of each other once and for all so you can celebrate all those life moments together instead of always having to catch a plane ride somewhere just to make it happen. Well, guys, what are you thinking? Is Charlotte starting to look like somewhere you'd want to live? Are you liking the information you're hearing? What do you think of the part we've gone to see? Y'all don't go anywhere. I've got some more exciting news to tell you and some more awesome places to show you. Y'all stay with me and I'll see you at our next stop. And as always, if this is your first time to the channel, please smash that subscribe button because it helps you be the first to find out of all the information I post on the area and it keeps you informed. Again, guys, y'all stay with me. I'll see you at our next stop. What's up, guys? How are you? Thanks for staying with me and welcome to stop number four. You can see Bank of America behind me here. I'm actually down in Marshall Park, another cool green area the city has preserved and stays pretty clean, it's nice and shaded. And then also across the street is the Charlotte Aquatic Center, beautiful pools, diving platform. They do a lot of swimming there, big swim meets, Olympic trials every now and again. So we got you covered on all the swimming you could want to do. So what I wanted to tell you, stop number four is Charlotte is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. It was number three in population growth from 2022 to 2023 and ranked as the most moved to big city for 2023 and 2024. So you're not alone in asking yourself, man, is Charlotte where I need to be? And something this tells me is that this city is a lie. This city is attracting top talent and this city has the space 
and the want to grow. And it can be a real powerhouse. You hear people talking about being on the ground floor of a company. Now imagine taking that same ride with this city. And that's what you have the opportunity to do here, is really get in on the ground floor of Charlotte with an amazing company, buy a home in an amazing neighborhood, and ride this wave. Because you could ride this wave from not only your home person, but now imagine making good real estate investments here in the city and the region as we continue to grow. The opportunities here almost seem endless. I get excited when I read about it. I get really excited when I have a chance to come downtown and see all that's happening. So is that something that appeals to you? Maybe, maybe not. But this place has got it going on. We're growing and the opportunity here is immense. Well, guys, y'all stay with me. We've got some more stops. I look forward to telling you more about this incredible city. So y'all stay with me and I'll see you at our next stop. Welcome to stop number five, guys. On this stop, I'm going to give you some info that I think might really surprise you. And that is Charlotte's becoming a top city for in 2023, Charlotte Startup received $1.2 billion in venture capital money. Tech growth was 11.1% here in the city. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. So sometimes that's what really matters. Your average salaries in Charlotte technology world are around $92,000 a year with higher salaries for cybersecurity analysts, software developers, and data scientists. But I'll read iterate your salary in charlotte is going to go further than many cities around the country because it's not always about how much money do you make but how far will what you make go in the metropolitan area you are in for these stats and comparables nerd wallet can be an incredible resource for this reading reports on the charlotte tech industry is exciting especially when you see the practical applications of what they're building. Now you're asking, hey, why is he here? Why is he on this corner? Well, here it is. The top tech companies here are Red Ventures, Lending Street, is their building right here, and then Bank of America, which their other office is right there here behind me. So you've got Red Ventures, Lending Tree, Bank of America are the top tech companies here. No surprise, they're all in finance and FinTech is really huge here in the Charlotte area. But the three top startups here are gonna be Preset, Oyster, and Principal. So no longer do you have to go to Raleigh or no longer do you have to get to the West Coast in order to work in technology. You can get incredible jobs here in Charlotte, work for amazing companies, and bonus on top of bonus, have an incredible quality of life. So that was why I picked this spot. Wanted to show you these. I hope you could see that there. And then also down here is Duke Energy, who was another massive employer here in the area. Hey, is Charlotte starting to look like somewhere you want to live? If it is, you ever have any questions, please give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. You can call that number right there. I'm not too busy. This is my job. This is what I do is I help amazing people just like you move into this city every day. So give me a call, a text, an email. Let's schedule a Zoom so I can get you and your family all the information you need to have a smooth move across the country. Well, guys, y'all stay with me. We just finished up number five, five more to go. I'll see you at our next stop. All right, we are making it through our list. We're in stop number six. And on this stop, we're going to walk through Noda, also known as North Davidson. It's a beautiful little eclectic neighborhood that's been going through revitalization for about the last 20 years. And the city's done an awesome job at bringing this place back to life. And it's a neighborhood that I'll always kind of hold near and dear to my heart as I grew up coming down here to Johnson YMCA, where I learned to play basketball and baseball and to be a team member because God-given athletic ability always kind of seemed to elude me. So team member is definitely what I had to become here. Well, let's talk a little bit about entrepreneurship here in the city, just the business environment, because according to Wallet Pub, they compared 100 cities across 19 indicators of startup viability, including your five-year business survival rate, your labor costs, and office affordability, because, you know, that's your big three. How long can you survive? Who are you going to pay to work there? 
and where are you going to go work? Three of the big things. And just to further point out how awesome North Carolina is, we had three other cities ranked in the top 20. So that tells me this area is prime with talent. This area is prime with resource. Because if you heard me talk about our tech industry, got a lot of money pouring into this city to make business happen. And one of the other cool things, you know, down within this NODOT district, the reason I picked it is it's a ton of small businesses all through here that have spotted up from yoga studios. There's two notable breweries in the area. There's restaurants, there's little shops. There's all sorts of stuff happening right here in this NODOT district. And one of the most interesting facts uh, about the article is it said Charlotte has the biggest variety of business, which is going to give you and your business the opportunity to really find its niche. But something else it's going to do is allow you to get outside eyes of top people from other businesses to come look at yours. And you really get some amazing cross-pollination there. Something else it could do is give you the opportunity to hire incredibly talented and educated people that are outside of your industry because if you always hire the same people from the same four or five colleges they're always going to solve your problems the exact same way and maybe you miss that brain that's going to give you that out of the box idea and really be a spark that you were looking for within your organization or maybe you work for a business and you're just tired maybe you're tired of the industry you're working in and you're looking for a change Charlotte could be an option for you when you get here. You could really find that next industry that you didn't even know you had a home. You could do that here because of everything that's going on within this city. All right, let's talk about the real estate here a little bit. And no, as I've said, it's been an area of revitalization for the last 20 years. And it is there, it has arrived 20 years ago probably not a place I'd feel comfortable to walk through and film and show you. This wasn't somewhere you really came to walk around. It wasn't a destination to live in. But your home prices in here are going to range anywhere from about the mid fives all the way to two and a half million. Your homes in the mid fives are going to be these older, beautiful craftsman style homes that just haven't been touched in the last 30 years. So on that price point, please understand you're going to have to do some work to these homes. At that two and a half million price point, those are usually going to be scrapes where they've taken a home or two, they've scraped them off of that lot and they've built a massive brand new modern custom masterpiece. Again, this neighborhood's only five to 10 minutes to downtown. It really is kind of in the center of the city and puts you close to everything Charlotte has to offer. You're right next to the Lynx, which is our commuter rail. You're incredibly close to I-77, I-85, and I-485, which is your major arteries and highways here through the city. And so if you start to look at listings on Zillow and you see them say, hey, close to Noda, something about Noda, walking distance to Noda. This is it. The street I was on is the main drag down there. And it's actually a lot longer. This business is all the way down, almost into downtown. So this is an incredible neighborhood, incredible value, and a great location. What are y'all thinking about Charlotte? Is what you're seeing getting you excited or is it kind of what you were expecting? Drop down in the comments and tell me what you're thinking. And again, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and it allows you to be the first person to know of all the new videos that I post. And again, if you're thinking of moving, please call me. Say whether you're one day out or one year out, I'm not too busy. I love to speak to you. I love to get you and your family as much information as possible. They often have a smooth move to this amazing city. Well, guys, don't go anywhere yet. We've got some other amazing stops. I'll see you there. All right, guys, how are you? Welcome to stop number seven. For this one, I'm downtown and actually standing in front of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. It's actually a pretty cool building, like this big, circle tire looking thing downtown really awesome to look at but on this stop i want to talk to you a little bit about the abundance of things to do because all work and no play would just turn us into a bunch of mr scrooges and who wants to live in a city of miserable people i know i certainly don't but let's start out at carowind on an awesome amusement park about 13 miles from uptown charlotte it's really easy to get to it's right off the of highway 77 and one of the kind of cool things about hair winds is one it splits the state line so part of it is in south carolina two they've got an 
amazing water park there. So that summertime splash, I want to get wet and cool off, but also have a good time. Carowinds can be an incredible place to go. Something really cool about Carowinds also is they do season passes and it really makes it incredibly affordable for a family to be able to go multiple times. Cause maybe you just wanted to go for an hour and didn't want to waste all that money to just be there an hour you got your season pass you can pop in do what you want to do and pop out and your children will probably go multiple times through the summer with school groups fringe church groups whatever they're into there's usually a group or three or four headed to carowinds through the summer also if you wanted to get outside you wanted to stretch your legs you wanted to be in nature the white water center is an incredible place to check out there's not many places in the world you can try walk Whitewater rafting in a very controlled setting. You can zip line there, you can climb the rock wall, you can walk trails, you can bike trails. They've got an awesome dog park. So really is a great place to go and get outside. They're open year round. Also, as we keep the theme of being outside because this is a beautiful city and we're blessed with incredible weather here because it's never too cold usually to get outside and have fun, is the BMX track down in Rock Hill. If you're into two wheels, maybe you're a BMX racer or maybe you'd like to go see some really cool races. That's another very awesome venue and you can see it in my Rock Hill video and some other videos I've talked about it a few times and bonus there the park outside of the Rock Hill BMX Center is top not y'all can see here this is a popular place for kids to come down they're here on a uh, field trip and as we keep with you know incredible things to do here in the city we've got discovery place downtown my daughter went for the first time this year and it's begged to go every weekend since we've been twice and they've got a season pass also a yearly pass which really makes it easy. Another cool thing Charlotte has done is you can log on to charlottesgotalot.com and you can build your trip here and get tickets to multiple places and really save yourself some money. Something else Charlotte is known for is our abundance of parks. There are a gazillion parks here, green space that has been preserved for you here around the city. So you're never short of things to do, whether it's winter, summer, fall, or spring. And also let's talk a little bit about our location, our wonderful day trips. You can take a day trip up to the mountains and have a blast. In the summer, you can go up there and cool off a little bit. In the winter, you can get up into the mountains and see some snow. If you're missing snow, want to show your kiddos how to make a snowman go. And then we can take incredible trips down to the beach. That's kind of a long day trip, but it does happen. There's some amazing restaurants down there. People drop down, have an awesome lunch, sightsee a little bit, and then head back. So there's always something to do here. You've heard me say if you're bored, it's your own fault. You can walk outside your own front door. Lowe's to do here uptown. It's beautiful and it's clean. That's something you'll see Charlotte rank a lot a lot of times is the cleanliness of the city. It hasn't been overrun with the unhoused population. So you can come down here and feel safe and be all right guys but this was stop number seven we've got two more to go y'all stay with me i'm having a blast doing this i hope you're getting something out of it so y'all stay with me and i'll see you at our next stop hey guys how are you on this stop we're in meyer park one of the most beautiful communities in the whole city award-winning and i personally think it rivals any award-winning neighborhood throughout the country this is truly the creme de la creme of neighborhoods here in Charlotte. But guess what? Charlotte was just ranked as the number five place to live by U.S. News and World Report. It seems we rank in the top for everything. For this report, some of the indicators they wanted to look at were the job market, quality of life, and desirability. And Charlotte, our city here, we leapfrog Raleigh, who's bumped back a few spots forever. That was really the crown jewel of the state with everything it was doing. And we finished just in front of them. Charlotte, I mean, excuse me, Raleigh came in at number six. Now, the economy and rapid development makes Charlotte a thorough 21st century metro area. And our southern charm is still very much alive, which makes making friends in this new city relatively easy instead of the arduous task of trying to go go meet your neighbors or go meet someone we're very friendly and inviting people here 
the other thing they talked about, of course, was our temperate weather. We're blessed with amazing weather. You're gonna get all four seasons and none of them are too soul crushing. The end of summer can get pretty hot and humid, but it's just a few days, hold your breath and you're gonna get in to fall there. The other things that they talked about in this report, obviously, again, was our geographic location, which you've heard me hit on a lot of times. We're an easy commute in a plane, obviously, up to New York City. We're an easy trip down to New York for four hours to Atlanta, and we're about a six hour drive to Washington, D.C. Some of the other things the report looked at was things to do. Our major league sports are represented here. We've got the Charlotte Hornets, Carolina Panthers, Charlotte FC for Major League Soccer. We've got minor league baseball and minor league hockey. So while we're not like New York, who seems to have three of everything, pro sports are represented here. And if you're into college ball, you can drop down some amazing college venues from Charlotte also. But if pro sports and anything to do with the ball is not your thing, then we have incredible museums and an exploding brewery scene that offer more things for everybody to do. And you know, if you start to ask yourself, what's what's the economy like here? What's driving Charlotte forward? Charlotte is home to 18 Fortune 500 and 1,000 companies. And some of the things the report noted that are really are pushing the city forward is it's our diversity and cleanliness that are major things really pushing this city to the top. If you've been to big cities and a lot of times they're, they're just dirty. And Charlotte, as you look around, if you've seen in my videos, I was just downtown for a lot, is relatively very clean, which is always a plus. And you know, Charlotte really is known as being a financial hub. We are the number two banking center in the country. We're home to Bank of America and massive headquarters for Wells Fargo. And we're home to Truist, but it's not just bankers that are leading the way. In fact, there's some real diversity in the economy here. We have a strong healthcare sector that rivals the finance industry here with Atrium Health and Novant Health being two of the major players here in the city with tens of thousands of jobs here. I swear there's a hospital or a medical office on every corner, so you're never far from getting you and your loved one the care you need here. That one, I can almost guarantee. One of the major things they looked at in that report was housing, because if you're gonna work somewhere, you're gonna make all this money. My God, I hope you can afford to buy a house. And in this city, you can. We're at a fall of 2024. For the median home price, the median home price is hovering around four hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So it's still affordable to buy a home here. We've got quality schools, we've got quality homes, we've got incredible neighborhoods, we've got an incredible economy. So you start to see why, hey, why do I keep hearing about Charlotte? Why does Charlotte keep ranking in the top for all of these things? Pick a news outlet when they rank top cities across the country, Charlotte's continually in the top. We've got great jobs, we've got great things to go do, we've got great weather, and we've got great homes and neighborhoods for you and your family to move into. So guys, we've got two more stops. Y'all stay with me. This one was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of Myers Park. Again, if you've ever got questions, give me a call, reach out. I'd love to talk to you. I'm not too busy. This is what I do every day is help amazing people just like you move into this city and to make sure the move they're making is the right one for them and their family. Well guys, don't go anywhere. Two more stops. I'll see you there. All right, guys, how are you? Welcome to our ninth stop here. We're in front of Imagine On, and this is a world-class children's library and was ranked the last year as number one in the country. Look at this. Is it starting to make sense to you yet? Why there is so much of buzz going on around Charlotte? Our city seems to rank in the top for almost everything. And this library is just another example of the creativity and the collaboration within the city coming together to give the next generation of kids and students everything they need to carve out an abundant life, to be creative, to think outside the box, and most importantly, let's make sure they're literate. Because if you can't read, you really are lost in this world. The Imagine On Children's Library behind me is a youth destination. We're located in uptown Charlotte. We're located within the theater and arts district. This was a collaborative effort 
between Charlotte Mecklenburg Library and the Children's Theater. The building behind me, the Imagine On Children's Library here behind me is 102,000 square foot facility and it is visited by more than 300,000 people annually and features two state-of-the-art theaters, a dedicated library space for kids 11 and under, four multi-use classrooms, a team-only library, a, a multimedia production studio, and an interactive exhibit space. You know, with cutting-edge services and the library connections, an award-winning professional theater, and innovative educational program. Imagine On brings stories to life through extraordinary experiences that challenge and inspire and excite the youth of Charlotte. So guys, this is just one more example. It's just one other thing that the city is doing to continue to lead and really be a 21st century powerhouse within the country. Well guys, this was stop number nine. We got one more to go. Y'all don't go anywhere and I'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome to stop number 10. You've made it this far. Don't go anywhere. This one's a lot of fun and you could even cut the volume off and understand what I'm gonna tell you here for this art is the beauty of this city. So not only is it clean, not only do we have incredible people that live here that are nice, filled with Southern charm, not only do we have an amazing economy, great sports team, wonderful beer, great things to go do to round it out. Our city is beautiful and has been ranked as a free city every year since 1930, excuse me, every year since 1930. 80. And it is something that many people and 100% of my clients always comment on is how green and beautiful the city is. The city planners and developers have taken this to heart and are pushing to have the city 50% under canopy preserving this beauty and keeping it from becoming just a gray concrete jungle. Many, many neighborhoods and areas across Charlotte have beautiful tree lined streets. I'm actually in Meyer Park, it's just one of the greatest examples of this in the city. But many, many neighborhoods across many, many different housing options and across many different housing prices still have these beautiful green tree lined streets. So, unless you were in a brand new neighborhood where they just clear cut everything, you're gonna have some beauty around. And also when I said it's something the developers and the city planners have, have taken to heart in new communities and new developments, they've got an allocation for how many trees they have to keep or they've got an allocation for how many trees they have to plant. So the city has taken all of that into account again to keep us from just being this great mass on the map with all of the trees and the beauty taken out. So guys, what do you think? We've covered 10 things that truly make Charlotte an amazing place to live. I've been your host, Joe McIntosh, and this was another episode of my show, The Carolina Salute, where I cover everything Charlotte for both North Carolina and South Carolina. If I can ever do anything for you, please, again, give me a call, a text, an email, and schedule a Zoom so I can get you and your family all the information you need to have a smooth move across the country. Well, guys, give me a call. Until next time, y'all have a good one.